hey homeschool friends welcome back to the channel welcome to a fun video one where i get to share my entire school supply haul with you guys so i've been collecting a lot of stuff for this upcoming year so it's not all just like school supplies like glue sticks and markers like that but it's also things like special art supplies or things like that bring extra enchantment to our homeschool which i've been sharing a lot in my get it done with me videos which are all the previous videos on my channel. And so I wanted to share all this stuff with you guys. I'm so excited for the school year to start. I feel like I am refreshed and reset and now I just have some stuff that I need to put away and then we're pretty much totally ready. So, so I hope you enjoy seeing some of the things I have collected for this upcoming year. So let's just hop into my school supply haul. It's rather large. Mm -hmm. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back if you've been coming for a while. So like I was saying, it is a school supply haul video today. And so you will see the obvious things, school supplies, art supplies. I've also been collecting things for the first day of homeschool, which I like to make special. So you'll see some of that as well. So let's just, let's hop in. I'm just gonna grab from the top here. So things aren't in a particular order, but I did wanna show you these. So I picked up some special watercolor. So these are called watercolor cakes. And so they're a little bit nicer than some of the typical watercolors you can get, but they're also not so nice that I'm worried about giving them to my five-year-olds because I actually picked up four of them. And so these are gonna be some special art supplies for my kids, but also nothing too special. So watercolors is one of the first things I picked up. I also picked up some sticker books for my twins. So I'm gonna be putting together like a first day basket for everybody and they have really enjoyed these. I picked some of these up for the car ride for our vacation and it was a huge hit. So these will be going into my five-year-old's baskets and then my daughter really loved these books. So the Never Girls books, so number two, I got her. So I wanted to get kind of a book for each of them as kind of a special thing. I mean, if you've been on my channel for a while, books are how I celebrate. So that was the first box. All right, I picked up some water bottles. So it's not like I wouldn't buy my kids water bottles anyway, but it's kind of fun to make them special. So I'm gonna be putting them in kind of their stack for that first day and they can each have a special water bottle. I'll probably label them. They can use these in their backpacks for enrichment school as well as just homeschool, but they get a special water bottle. And for my son, his special book is gonna be the second yeah, book two in the Spiderwick Chronicles. So he finished book one already this summer. It was part of his summer reading. And so I'm excited for this. And then I picked myself up some new friction pens. These are really the only pens I love to use, especially in my planner because I get to erase them. They're the erasables. And these ones are a little bit of a different type than I'm used to. So we'll see how they go. Oh, I got myself two packs of that. It's nice to have the different colors. And then I got a bunch of rulers because I don't know what it is about my kids, but they, I won't get them out. It looks like it's a seven pack. They just lose rulers and we use rulers all the time for math. So there's that. And then this, I think this might be washable paint. Yes, so this was paint. So I have the glitter as well as classic. So these are just for the kids to use. There's no special curriculum or anything that goes with that. It's just paint. Then I did pick up some of these binders from Target. So they're just kind of hard binders. And my plans are to use these to collect writing samples from my kids. And I already set up the binders for my big kids. And these were the ones I picked up for my twins. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this for my twin boy or not, but. It's really cute and maybe my daughter will get this. But anyway, two extra binders and the other ones are on my shelf so that I can collect whatever they're writing. Okay, so this is the first year I have picked up a planner for my oldest. He's going into fourth grade, he's nine and a half. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna use this, but he requested something like this last year and it was kind of midway through the year and I didn't really wanna get anything then. But I just picked up one off of Amazon. Most of this is off of Amazon. I'll link everything down below. I should have said that earlier, but I mean, it looked really basic, it's hard to see, but it's something that I'll probably just kind of write his math assignment. Some of the stuff that he can do independently is what I'll put on here. And maybe I'll also just include some of our just kind of daily stuff that we're gonna do together so he knows 
the plan for the day. And then he's also been requesting a dictionary. So I picked up a elementary dictionary for him to be able to use. I did some research and this one looked like one of the best ones for elementary. And so I'm excited. I think he'll really like it. He wanted it just because sometimes he doesn't know how to spell things. So this might be able to help him a little bit. So we got ourselves a dictionary for our school. Probably should have done that before now, but that's okay. So my twins are now going into kindergarten and enrichment school, which I talked about in their curriculum video. And so I needed to get them some lunch boxes. And these are just little soft ice packs that'll go in their lunch boxes that will go in their backpacks for their one day a week where they go off to enrichment school. So that'll be fun. Moving on. Oh, pencils. I picked up more pencils. I really, these are the best ones. I know everybody says this in the homeschool world, the Ticonderoga pencils. They really are. They, they hold up the best. They sharpen the best. I, I feel like I have them at the end of the year still, as opposed to some of the other ones. All right. It was hot and it was unpacking boxes. It's clearly hot. Okay. Yes. I got a bunch of felt tip markers my son is doing more drawing and he really wanted come some nice pens really I guess these are pens they're felt tip marker pens and especially black so this might be something I'm putting in his basket I can't quite remember what I got him because I wanted to get them kind of like a book or a sticker book I wanted to get them like special pens or something special artsy as well as like a water bottle and maybe some snacks I'll get that in our Walmart order before we start because we're gonna start next week here's some more felt tip pens, but these ones are colored. And so I got a set of colored ones. So now I'm trying to decide if I got both for him. I cannot remember. I should have unboxed this while I still knew what was going on. Oh, and then I got a bunch of sheet protectors. So this is for me and it's um, mostly because I put their work into portfolios and I want to organize kind of my records. And so I did that a lot during my prep for the summer and I ran out of sheet protectors, so I needed more of those, so I picked those up. And then I picked up this five-star notebook, actually recommended by one of you when I was talking about starting Saxon 5-4 with my son, and these notebooks are gridded. I know you can't see that. Of course you can't see that. But she mentioned the fact that it really helps them when they're like working their lawn division or whatever to have a notebook, a special math notebook, because they have to kind of transfer their problems from the textbook into a notebook. So these are little nature notebooks. And so my big kids have one and my twins, they want one too. And so they're just little blank notebooks that we'll use for nature drawing or whatever we kind of do with nature. And so we'll put their names on them and I'll have them decorate them with stickers or something. But these are for my twins. And then we got some more glue. And then I got a big gel pen set. I think this might be for my daughter. She likes gel pens. Oh yeah, this is definitely for her. They're like all sparkly. And I don't know about this brand, but it was a good price. And so it's 36 gel pens. And so this will be something I'll probably put in her first day basket. Dry erase markers for myself. Right, and then this last one was construction paper. So I got two packs of the 240 construction paper. They love construction paper. I feel like they go through so many paper airplanes with construction paper. So that was my haul from mostly Amazon. I still have one more big box, so hold tight. But again, I'll link what I picked up from Amazon. Let's move some stuff. And this next box is actually from my aunt who used to be a first grade, second grade teacher. She's just the most generous person I know and she loves school supplies. And she loves the fact that my sister and I are both homeschooling and so she gets us a lot of school supplies. And it's just, it's so great, I love it. Kind of more basic stuff, which I kind of knew she was gonna do, so that kept me from, from getting it myself. But got things like folders, more glue. Oh, I love these Papermate kinds of pens. They're more for me. And then some extra, just regular pens. And she picked up more of these. So the washable watercolors, that's the word. And she got four of those for each of my kids. And then she picked up this kit, this marble art paint kit. So that looks fun. We'll probably pull that out during a read aloud time. And then she got mechanical pencils, a couple different kinds of mechanical pencils and a couple highlighters. 
more of the awesome pencils. She also agrees. These are the only way to go. More mechanical pencils. She's such a sweetheart. And a cute little sharpener. And some index cards. More glue. We aren't set for glue, but we always go through this much. So what I love is I'll probably put away half of this stuff and pull it out halfway through the year. Some crayons. Uh, notebooks. So just basic notebooks, which we always tend to use or the kids end up using them for something. Some more note cards, which is good because I need to make some note cards. Some folders. That's the word, folders. Oh good, she did get some, she got us some rulers as well. I like the wooden ones. I just found the plastic ones on Amazon, but I do like the wooden ones. And then some more crayons and scissors. So that was a ton of stuff and I am so thankful. I'm so thankful that I'm all set up. I feel like I have what we need for the upcoming school year. I feel like I have fun stuff to surprise my kids on the first day. I have a whole plan of like food and how we're going to kind of put out all of the new curriculum and just like play with all the books and look at all this stuff and just get really excited on the first day and we'll probably do our read aloud and things like that but also have those special baskets and and I'm just really excited and so it feels like this was a lot of stuff maybe it is maybe it's not it depends it depends on kind of what you need I was trying to fill in what I needed a lot of it is kind of new stuff for my fourth grader as, as he has kind of some new needs as he's going up in grades but Anyway, let me know down below, have you started school supply shopping? I have to start shopping early because we start school early. We're gonna start here next week, the like 20th maybe. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your summer. And that is what I have for my school supply haul video. Let me know down below what's your favorite school supply. If I, especially if I don't have it, I might have to look into it. So, all right guys, I will see you in the next homeschool video. All right, take care.